bouncing between dimensions, here's a look at the Funko Rick and Morty. This is Sombrero Rick and Unity Vinyls. A new Rick to add to your collection now sporting a sombrero and Unity now finally introduced the world of vinyl. Let the hive mind assimilation begin. Okay, muchachos, of course, before we begin anything, we got to get some dimensions going. So to the very top of not Rick's head, but rather his sombrero, you're looking at a vinyl figure that stands six inches in height. Yes, I know they're both sporting their display stands. I just included them anyways. It's not really going to increase their height by much. As I was saying, Sombrero Rick stands six inches in height in centimeters. That works out to be 15, 15.3 centimeters tall. Now let's backtrack, go back to the past, and we'll measure off to the top of Unity. Now I'm going to go right to the very top of her antenna and stopping it right there. You're looking at a vinyl figure slightly smaller than Rick, but still nonetheless 5.2 inches in height in centimeters. That works out to be 13. 0.4 centimeters tall. Yes, as I said, both figures already come with their clear dis display stands. I've already taken the liberty of adding them to them. Uh, most of the time, these vinyl figures don't have too much of an issue standing. In fact, case in point, I could take the display stands off. Unity seems like possibly she's leaning a little bit more than Rick, of all things. But uh, you really don't technically need the display stands. I always like to include them just in case, because the last thing you wanted to be doing is sauntering down the stairs. That's how I saunter down the stairs and find any one of these vinyls laying on the floor. I don't want that. So I always include the display stands just in case. They are, they look uniform to one another. I don't, it does not look to me like one is different. Sometimes the earlier vinyls had various sized pegs. It seems like Funko was finally smart enough to realize, you know what, we could just mass produce one display stand, save ourselves some costs. So that's what they've done here with Rick and Unity. Putting that to the side, uh, why don't we have a look at Rick. A really nice splendid release from the folks over at Funko. Now, I don't personally get why it seems to me at least that vinyls don't take off as well. That's vinyls, by the way, without the eye. There is no eye in vinyl, literally. Uh, V-Y-N-L-S or V-Y-N-L is the vinyl brand. Again, I don't get why they don't seem to be taking off as much as the Funko Pops. Maybe just because Funko Pops are so mass produced. There's thousands, thousands of those. And I feel like for every vinyl that has been released, that's V-Y-N-L, I feel like for every one of these, there's probably at least 140 Funko Pops to every one of these and maybe that's why people I don't know I don't feel like these take off as well and in all honesty I'm just flabbergasted pardon my French that these guys haven't taken off as much as they are I mean these should be the things that you should be seeing in stores lining the shelves and not necessarily Funko Pops as you can probably get it I'm not too keen on Pops what I do like though is the vinyls and here we have a very long mustachioed uh, Rick sporting of course his sombrero on the top and just in case you were wondering the sombrero is not removable you could try all you want to take that off my friends it ain't gonna happen a slightly defeated look perhaps on Rick's face you can see some bags under his eyes really a monotone sort of complexion he still has the slime coming out of his mouth and probably some XXX alcohol it's not called XXX but usually that's the indication that that is alcohol or usually that you're dead X X across the eyes but here we have a little bottle of undisclosed liquid likely that likely that Rick has been drinking down here He's got a little, the two ammunition belts strung across his shoulders right around the front of his torso. And uh, we just flip the figure around. That's what it looks like on the back. Pretty much fully finished all the way around. There's the peg hole on the underside of his foot. Again, you really don't need it. Coloring is accurate, as accurate as accurate could be. I just said accurate a whole lot of times. As accurate as it could be to the cartoon. I really love the look of this Rick. I'm gonna add this to the already Rick that I have in my collection.
Now, posability on these guys, they're very limited, as you can probably guess it. Maybe you don't know that. Maybe me telling you this is the first time you're hearing it. But let me just indicate, demonstrate, if you will, just rotating the head all the way around. That's the only posability that you're going to be getting from Rick. And as you could probably guess it, that's the only posability that you're going to be getting out of Unity as well. Speaking of Unity, let's unify this review by having a look at the other figure that comes included in this vinyl setup. Here we have Unity sporting a rather square pair, rectangular pair, although square pair rhymes, rectangular pair doesn't, we'll go with square pair of uh, l large rimmed, black rimmed glasses. Has the spots on the top of the head there. Coloring much like Rick, very much accurate to how she appeared in the show. Purple hair and of course the three antenna points sticking up from the top. Hair clip there on the back. Uh, a well-dressed certainly could be said for Unity. And you can also see if you compare it to Rick, they simply didn't just use the exact same body. The hands, actually, rather, if you look at the two of them, they look like they're identical, but Rick's seems longer. But the hands look similar as well. But uh, I like that they curve in the torso section of Unity, clearly showing that they don't want to use the same blocky, even though they are very blocky in their design. They don't want to use the exact same blocky body for one release to the other. Of course, as we've already assessed it, the Ultra Measuretron assisted in that. One is much taller than the other as it should be in the in the, as based on the cartoon uh, for the posability it's pretty much what you would expect that's as much as you're going to get my friends and colleagues that's it neither of them really technically have accessories i guess if you really want to get to you know if you want to be accurate about it they technically have glasses for unity and the bottle of course for rick sombrero but really none of those accessories as i said are removable yeah, yeah, I don't get why it seems that Funko Vinyls just don't seem as popular as Funko Pops. I guess chalk it up to mass circulation over the years. Funko Pops basically have just flooded the market, competing not only with other companies that are producing similar vinyl figures, but also really in some sense competing with themselves. For every pop vinyl figure that I see, I may go to my local comic book store and see only once in a while the vinyl, V-Y-N-L, releases coming out. You, they're always packed in two, so at least money-wise, I think you get a little bit more for your buck. Speaking also of which as well, the fact that the, all of them have unique characteristics to them, none of which really share the same bodies, and I know anybody could jump on board and say, well, the Funko Pops seldom share the exact same molds anyways, but there's something very unique and almost charming about the Funko Vinyls, something of which I feel like has really gotten lost just in the flooding that the Funko Pops have been. I think this is really the jewel of some of, pop, uh, some of Funko's uh, releases, excluding the Pops. Let me know down below if you guys like the vinyls, not, you know, we've already covered off those, not the I vinyls, but the Y. Well, why? Because I personally like them. I'm curious to see if you guys like them out there as well. Do you guys collect the Funko vinyls? And if you have, let me know down below which ones you've collected. As you probably have seen on this channel, I favor more so the Funko Vinyl than I do the Funko Pops. I've always been that way, at least that these have started circulating. And as they continue to come out, I'm more inclined to want to pick these ones up much, much more before that I want to even consider picking up a Funko Pop. Very few times will I ever fi physically pick up a Pop vinyl figure if a vinyl figure made by the same company is available instead. I always like reading your comments down below. What do you guys think of the flooding of the market when it comes to these Funko Pops? Are you guys kind of exhausted by it as well, or is it just really me? And what do you guys think of Funko Vinyls? These ones right here. Always like reading your comments down below. Today, though, we were having a look at the Funko Rick and Morty. This was the Rick and Unity Vinyls. I'm not going to do the comparison anymore. The, yeah, it's one, one doesn't have an eye. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other reviews for this style, this brand, this subcategory for Funko, there's a whole playlist just for that. You realize there's a whole lot of these that have come out? I know most people often forget about these. It seems in favor of the pops. There's a whole bunch of these that I've reviewed. Feel free to go back and have a look at those on the playlist. And while you're also at it, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. We're going to have some more fun 
giving much needed love in my own personal opinion to a to a subcategory that I feel like Funko doesn't put as much attention into. So if you're into Funko vinyls, stay tuned because there's going to be more coming to this channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.